please attention everybody, including the team Deo. This is important. <laughs> you are listening to me. Here's the question. He said, I have configured myself to be 101111, but in my browser it still says 192.168. We need to understand the network interfaces of this one. We have now, we're putting this on the, on the mask up there. So this is, oops, here's my device. It has a number of network interfaces. Each of them has these, this single one here, and it has the antennas. Speaking about network interfaces, actually it has, strictly speaking, it's only two independent ones. But here, this one. It's the interface to the wide wide area network. It's the external. It's where the internet goes if you have an internet connection to your ISP. Mm -hmm. Then there's the internal LAN, local area network. This at the moment is set to serve you an address on 192. 168 and so forth. Right? And then it has its external wireless address here. That is 10 1 1 in your case 11 or 12. So to the outside world you are known as this internally you are being offered a DHC lease on these interfaces. We left those on this number. The one, actually when, when I did this setting, I was hesitating for a short moment because at this point it doesn't make sense to I was actually thinking for a moment if we should give each customer a number like 10, 1, and then the customer number, and then give him the whole network, meaning the possibility to connect 255 other uh, clients that are all known to the mesh. At the moment I said this is probably overkill. Because if we do that, we are also running out of, we are limiting our own free space here. Um, I don't really want to do that. I'm assuming at the moment that everybody's fine if they're having their own private IP range here. You can still connect many computers, no problem. 